In this video from Northland Fish and Tackle, we'll see how Brad Hawthorne fishes the Northland Rip and Minnow. Check it out. So basically what we're doing here is we're coming down the first break, side image a bunch of, uh, bunch of fish, and I turn around, I spot lock on them, and I'm casting the Northland Rip and Minnow back at them. And the reason I like this, bit, this bait is because it fishes extremely fast. It's a really darty bait in the water. And you know, so you guys are using it, I'm throwing this bait up to about 16, 18 feet, and the 5 16 ounce size takes about 13 to 14 seconds to get to the bottom. So that's basically when I start my jigging motion back, and I'm just doing quick little snaps. And what that does is it hops and it darts, and it's got that nice you know, flash to it that catches the fish's eyes. Now, for you guys looking for a bait that's like, hey, you know, maybe that's too big or too small, it comes in four different sizes and 12 different colors to match any situation you might be in. Like I said, we're at 15 to 20 feet. I'm using the 5 16th size, but definitely in the same depth of water, you can go all the way up to half. So right now we're just trying to get one of these guys to bite. And short little hops, with this presentation being on sand, I wanna make sure I have that good bottom contact. And with this, you can actually feel it go when it sticks into the bottom. When I feel that is when I just jerk it back up and give it a, a quick little pop and that's what triggers the bites on these walleye. So, anyways, we're gonna keep firing back at this pot of fish. There's like eight, 12 of them back here. So we're just gonna keep chucking this, ripping middle back here, and see if we can't get one of these guys to go. But again, it fishes so fast, and it literally casts, like there's a 100 foot cast right there. It just sails right through the air. So again, I'm getting that down there about 13, 14 seconds, let it get to the bottom. And this bait just, just glides right down. Kind of actually similar, really similar to a puppet minnow actually, but way, way less snaggy. So if you've got zebra mussels, snails, that type of thing, this is a great option for, for uh, the ripping minnow instead of using a, a puppet minnow. Puppet minnow is a great, great bait, but if you have snails, clams, anything like that where you're gonna pick up and you're not gonna know, switch to the ripping minnow for sure and you get you're gonna get just as many bites just as many bites with the same type of presentation and also what you can do with this is let's say you're doing you know the puppet minnow thing where you're keeping the boat about a mile an hour and you're just going and you're you're rip jigging it you can do that with the ripping minnow as well so set your trolling motor at if you're going through fish set it at a mile an hour get in the front of the boat and just snap that lure just snap it along and you'll get fish as well. So there's multiple different ways to fish the bait. And even for the bass guys, like casting up in the edge of weed edges, this thing's gonna go, hits the water, and it's gonna glide right down so you can slowly work it back on weed edges too. So it's a pretty versatile, versatile bait. Third cast, <laughs> I just love it. So slowly working it back. This guy's got some fight to him too. Slowly working it back, so the program is Drive around, side image, a decent pot of fish, go back, spot lock, pitch back on them, and use that ripping minnow, kind of like a puppet minnow, but you don't have to worry about it getting full of slime, full of snails, full of you know zebra mussels, any of that stuff. And the cool part is you can do little skips, you can do little jumps, you can do big jumps, you can snap jig it. It's probably one of the more versatile jigging baits you're gonna have. So Okay, I'm gonna get the net on this one. Oh yeah. That right there is your perfect, wow. Ripping minnow walleye right there. Look at that. Big old, big old Malax walleye right there. And look at how he ate that. Just boom. So you can snap jig it. You can cast it, pitch it, you can do whatever you want, and the product is big Minnesota walleyes. In that video, he talked about how he's using the ripping minnow in place of a puppet minnow. Most people are using puppet minnows uh, on 
deep humps on a big structure, something that comes out of the bottom or comes off shoreline uh, that's very defined later in the season. So that's where I'd recommend uh, trying this technique out. And hey, we are celebrating the Reed's 50th anniversary this year with a calendar of giveaways. We're giving away great products every month to help you have the best time possible in the outdoors. So click the link in the description to check it out. And thanks so much for watching and subscribing.